Hey guys, so project for today with the Land Cruiser is going to be capping the rear AC system. So let's see what we have. Two of the very first things I did when I got this a few weeks ago was change the timing belt and water pump kit at a shop and I had them recharge the AC because it was blowing warm. Uh, unfortunately, it went warm again pretty quickly after that. Uh, they put some dye in the system and found that it's leaking in one of the rear AC lines that go to the third row. Um, and so I really don't need that. It's gonna be really, really expensive to get that fixed and it's just not worth it to me. So I'll be capping these lines that go back there. So where that's gonna be is this line right here is the low pressure side coming back from the rear. And then over here, we have the high pressure side. This guy right here is what goes to the rear. And if you follow those all the way around, you can see it, it's kind of tough in the video probably. You can see those two wrap around and go underneath right there. So that's those two that I showed you. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna be capping. So this is everything that I'm gonna to need to complete this. You got the two end caps. You have a 516th uh, Dorman line terminator, uh, three quarter inch line terminator kit. Uh, you'll need some kind of little tube cutter. Uh, I just picked this one up for like 15 bucks. We'll see how that works. Um, the instructions call for some mineral oil to lube um, these pieces and the lines themselves. Uh, and then you'll want a torque wrench and some kind of file for after you cut the tube. Uh, this isn't the best one, but uh, that's all I got. So that is everything you need. And here's what the instructions say. I won't read through them, but if you want to pause it and take a closer look. So make sure you wear safety glasses for this, just in case the lines are still pressurized. Uh, I don't think it should be. That's why all the Freon uh, escaped the system. Uh, but um, it's always a good idea just to uh, protect your eyes and then just some gloves uh, just in case there's still some dye in the system that sprays out or whatever All right, so I just got those cut uh, Here's the first one on the low pressure side uh, I took out a little bit bigger chunk just to give some clearance for getting that end cap in there uh, but I also wanted This piece to be able to sit down far enough. So I wanted to give it a little bit of Oops, sorry Right about there. So I wanted to give it a little bit of clearance on this straight piece of that tubing for me to work with. Uh, but then I took off a little bit more up above it just so I could work on it. Work on getting the cap on without, you know, twisting the tubing too much. And then over here on the high pressure side, this is a little bit more of a pain to get to just because of how close it is uh, to the firewall, the top of the firewall. Really, you could do it anywhere all along these whole lines, um, but kind of right anywhere in this area kind of gave it the most room, I thought. Maybe here would be another good place. Um, it's really up to you, but... Um, so I might do a similar thing over here. I haven't decided. Um, just take a little bit more off of this end because the cap is going right here. So I'm going to get those caps on now. All right, I got it done on both sides. Uh, I'm a little nervous because my torque wrench seemed like it wasn't working. And so I'm afraid that I over tightened them way too much. Uh, the bigger one, three quarter inch calls for, I believe 18 to 20 pounds. And the 5 16 inch calls for 15 to 18 foot pounds. Uh, so I set it to 19 for the three quarter and uh, 17 or something for the smaller one. And neither of them clicked, so. <laughs> I'm not sure if it was just a little bit too small of a reading for my cheap torque wrench, but uh, anyway, I'm gonna try to get a better torque wrench just to double check it. If I'm already over, then uh, nothing I can really do about that at this point. I'll just recharge the AC system and see how long it lasts, and hopefully it's okay. I'm a little nervous about that though, but I'll let you know how it goes. Hey guys, so just a quick AC update. Uh, it is a few weeks later and I got it all wrapped up. Uh, I was able to find a better torque wrench and double check uh, the torque on those end caps. 
one of them still was able to turn a little bit before it clicked, so that one should be good. Uh, the other one clicked right away, so one of them I might have over-tightened, um, but I'm not really too worried about it since the other one was so close. Um, I don't think I would have been too far off. Uh, anyway, um, I borrowed uh, an AC manifold gauge set from a friend and a vacuum pump and went out and bought some of my own R134A and did the recharge on my own and just ended up not being super confident in the job that I did and I'm, I didn't want to you know, risk breaking anything in the AC system and just causing more of a headache. So uh, I ended up just bringing it back to my shop, asking them to do it. Um, they did it for free anyway, since that was the shop who did it the first time when I found the leak. Um, and so that was great. So I got it recharged for free. And like I said, it's a few weeks later now and it's still blowing ice cold. So um, if your rear AC lines are leaking and you don't need them, I would highly suggest doing this and unless your shop is charging basically nothing to do it, then um, I would just suggest doing it on your own. If I can do it, pretty much anybody can do it. It's a super easy install to do. Um, I'll put the links down below for uh, the supplies that I use for it. And yeah, let me know if you have any questions if you try to do it yourself. But uh, good luck and hopefully this sticks for me for you know years to come and I have no more issues. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.